Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at how to create relationships between tables within the Power Pivot add-in. Now, we've reached the stage through uh, the previous video of adding our data to the data model. So you can have to see the previous video if you're not quite sure how to do that. We've already added the data to the data model but we do need to create relationships between the tables. Now to do that, what you need to do is on your home tab within the Power Pivot application, you need to change your view to the diagram view. And when you do that, you'll see a little uh, layout here that includes all the tables uh, that you've imported into Power Pivot. This is very much like the layout that you might see in Microsoft Access if you've used that already. And to create the relationships, what we're going to do is just drag a relationship between two fields. So let's just have a little look at our data. My sales data, I can relate to the region table by creating a relationship between branch here and branch here. So the branch will only appear once within this region table, but it will appear many times within the sales table. But now I'm able to relate my sales to the region through this relationship. Product, I'm going to link with product here. So the product will only appear once in the product table, but many times potentially within the sales table. So now I'm able to relate my sales to product category, cost, and retail price. I also need to be able to link the product category in the product table with the discount that it attracts. So I'm going to create a little relationship between these two tables as well. So now for each product category, I have a discount which then tells me the discount for each individual product. Now if you need to delete a relationship, the easiest way to do that is just to select it and press delete on your keyboard and it'll prompt you to confirm your deletion. Um, if you want to better edit a relationship, you just double click on the line and it brings up this little edit relationship dialog box and you can go in and maybe change the columns that you're linking to. Okay, so this is how to create relationships between tables within the Power Pivot application. Chester Tuggle at Blue Pecan Computer Training. Hopefully that's been helpful.